Hi there, Juan Carlos Tapur here from InnovaLeaf Creative Solutions. This video will be part one from three videos I'll create explaining all the gear that you need, the setup, and the process to live streaming without cables. Who wants all this while you live streaming? No one, right? This means you can now live stream without using so many cables. That means wireless. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and leave me your comments. You will find all the links from the equipment I'll mention in this video in the description box below. So let's dive in now. Okay, in this video part one, I'll show you all the equipment and gear you might find helpful to start live streaming while moving around. You can now live stream a wedding, an event, a conference, and be moving around without thinking about having cables everywhere. This is the gear I usually use, so feel free to have the same equipment and setup, or use this video as a reference for you to know exactly what you need to do. Let's start with the, of course, the gimbal, which is going to be your best friend, and you're going to be able to install here the camera and everything that you need to do in order for you to be mobile. In this case, I'm using the Running S gimbal from DJI, but you can also use the newest versions of this one right here, which is the RS2 and the RSC2. And for the camera, I'm using a D7500 from Nikon. I also have a D850, I can use both. This gimbal right here can work perfectly for any DSLR cameras or mirrorless cameras from Nikon, Canon, Panasonic. All of those can be used for live streaming online. I have a lot of videos that explain how you can live stream with a Nikon D7500 and other cameras, and you can actually watch those videos for you to understand better how to do that. This video pretty much is just to show you how you can do it wireless. This right here is going to be your best friend. This is the Holy Land Mars 400S. This is a wireless transmission system that will help you to send the signal from your camera to your computer. We have the receiver and we have the transmitter. The good thing about this is color coded, so you're not gonna miss which one is which. So you can place this one on your camera and then you can place this one connected to your monitor on the other side of the room or whatever, if you're having someone who is helping you to do the uh, live streaming presentation or something, and uh, they're going to be able to see what you're seeing while you're moving around with your gimbal. This one right here, this little device is the Camlink 4K from Elgato. This one will help you to convert the signal from your camera to your live streaming platform. In this case, you can live stream on YouTube, on Facebook, using Ecamm Live as a third-party uh, platform or something like that. But you need to have a converter, video converter like this one in order for you, for the, your computer to understand the signal that is coming from your DSLR camera or your uh, mirrorless. I have more information or more videos on how I do the whole setup for you to understand more about like how this thing works. Now you're going to need a DJI Running S focus wheel to control the focus on your camera. And also you need a DJI Running S focus motor to help focus your shots. You need to connect all these two pieces together using a cable like this that it comes when you purchase this. The good thing about having something like this is you don't want to shake your camera while you're focusing on something. You need to have something like this that you can going to attach on the side of the gimbal and be able to control the focus just using this little wheel. Now we have the Field World F6 Plus monitor to help you visualize what your camera is seeing. I'm using this one right now, but you can also use any monitor. This one is a five inch. Try not to get a big one because it's going to be heavier for your gimbal and it's gonna be actually harder for you to carry around. I'm using this one, I love it. It has a really good quality. It has a 4K visualization here and uh, it connects very easy to my gimbal. And of course, in order for you to attach this to the gimbal, you need a small rig monitor mount for you to now be able to put this on your gimbal. The good thing about this is this is really good quality. The is very well built, it's very strong. So you connect this part on the side of the gimbal and then this part right here on your monitor. Also the good thing about this one, it has a cold shoe option for me to connect something else or I can use an extra one. Uh, this one is for a small rig as well and I can use this to place it in one of these uh, holes right here to connect something else. I'm also using a dual mount like this one on top of my camera to connect the wireless mics. Of course, for my microphones, I'm using a wireless Go from Rode. I can use a different mic, but in this occasion, I would like to use these uh, wireless ones. They work really well. I also have a video that I explain how 
they can be used and all the different things that you can use them for. And uh, I put them right here on top of this and it goes like this. So, and this connects to your camera and then from your camera, you're transmitting video and audio at the same time. You can use a device like this, a Zoom H6 to record your audio and have a better audio uh, quality. Uh, I'm using this one actually to record this video and to record every video I record for my YouTube channel. So this is really good, it's great. And it works perfect with this as well. If you don't have a cable like this that goes from HDMI to mini HDMI, you can use an adapter like this, which you can connect your HDMI cable like this. And then you have a mini HDMI at the end. So you can connect this to your camera on the side, on this part right here. And then from there, you can connect your end to the rest of the equipment. Now I need my cables in order for me to connect my camera to the rest of the equipment. In this occasion, if I want to avoid a lot of cables all around my gimbal, I'm using an HDMI splitter. In this occasion, since this one is a HDMI connector and I need a mini HDMI, then I need to use my adapter. So I connect this and this will go to my camera. And on the other end, I'll be using this to connect the, the HDMI cables right here and this will be connecting my monitor and my transmitter. And last but not least, you're gonna need four or three of these Sony MP batteries in order for you to run wirelessly, to connect this to the transmitter, one right here, one on the, uh, this is the receiver, one on the transmitter, and another one on the monitor right here. So you can have all this, power enough for you. So this is pretty much the equipment that I normally use. All right, so this is the equipment you can put together to start live streaming all those live events now. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on my social media channels right here for you to keep knowing what I post in every time. Next time, I'll see you guys with more great videos, tips, and equipment reviews. See you next time, bye.